Hey guys, it's the 2nd of January and I took yesterday off. Just, yeah. I I'm don't do well with being up late. My body just don't handle it. And I don't know why Christopher and I, we were discussing it because he didn't either. We both were kind of just out yesterday. Um, mostly because he actually sat and watched a hockey game till like 3 or 4 in the morning. Uh, I actually went to bed at 2. But, um, I don't know. It's just my body can't really handle not sleeping properly. Uh, so... I spent most of the day gaming yesterday, not anything very exciting when it comes to vlogging. Uh, also, I kind of uh, broke down. <laughs> it was that time. Um, all of this that is going on with my job and it not existing anymore, it is em emotional. Um, I'm very good at looking at the positive, I'm very good at looking at the future, but something I didn't really work on because I didn't put it in, I, I didn't think that I would need to, was that I have to go through the kind of losing the job. Um, it's not the... I was so concentrated on think, thinking about like the stresses of getting a new job, and the stresses of not having um, money to pay for my bills and stuff like that, that I totally forgot that there's a third part of this, and that is I have put myself and my emotions into this job, into this place. I was, in my mind, this was where I was going to be for the next couple of years. And having that kind of been turned off short and and kind of losing all of these contacts or, or people that I've started to invest emotions in. Um, and I know uh, I can keep on having contact with them through Facebook and emails and stuff like that. But you also know me. I am lousy at that. I love people and I want to be friends with everyone but hey it took me until like yesterday evening to actually wish my friends happy new year and I probably missed a thousand of them so uh, yeah I'm not good at those things so I kind of realized yesterday that I'm leaving it's it's a month left but I'm not going to have them anymore. And that made me very sad. And I started to cry. And it was rough. Um, also. Um, I feel like a failure. It's not. This is not my fault. This is nothing I could have done differently. I, I have fought. Tooth and nail. And. It just wasn't. It just wasn't happening. So it's, it's not my fault, but I still feel like a big failure, like a big, yeah. And it didn't hit me until yesterday. Uh, it has been going on. I, I kind of know that when I'm starting to uh, pull myself into myself, uh, there is something emotional going on. And it usually takes me a couple of days until I realize that what it is so I can start dealing with it um so yeah so yesterday evening I figured that out also so it's been it's been a couple of days um and I missed yesterday but that's okay today is the 2nd of January so it's the new year and uh I have started the day off at home because I'm going on a early morning uh, job interview and then I'm going to, go into my job because I'm probably gonna have to do that for a month uh, however I am going to go to job interviews and they just have to deal uh, <laughs> they have said that I'm not allowed to work with them anymore huh? 
So I'm going on a job interview this morning. Um, I have a couple of very different opportunities that is coming up and we'll see. It depends on which of them screams most of me at me. Uh, I'm very get I get very easily excited. So uh, right now it is the latest I met someone about, uh, which a part of me says that that's probably the best solution. Um, but I'm going to continue on with that company and talk with them uh, later next week. So this week I'm going to to go with another company because they asked and they seem to be awesome so i'm gonna go there i'm gonna see what they are all about they're gonna see what i'm all about and then we'll see um how we like each other that's always always an interesting thing um so we'll see yeah this is what i'm doing this morning i am going to do some vlog editing um I had some coffee this morning, I got super nauseous, uh, I don't know if the cream I had in it was bad or if I'm just super nervous, it could be just being super nervous, but yeah, good morning guys, I hope you have an awesome day. Guys, I just realised the thing, I just sat down to edit the last couple of days of vlogs and I just, yesterday, yesterday's vlog was day 1000. I have been daily vlogging for 1000 episodes. That is a lot of, of, of vlogs. That is a lot of videos that I've been editing. 1000. Um, most of the days are videos. However, I did do a compilation series, I think it was when I was away uh, in Spain, so or Gran Canaria, so I think that actually counted for a couple of days, but otherwise I've been vlogging for 1000 days, not continuously, you know, that I had a couple of months off here and there, um, but it's a huge thing. It's thing to have done that many videos and you crazy people who has been watching all through those thousand videos so I just wanted to say thank you so much for watching my videos and yeah thank you thank you thank you for uh, being there watching I probably wouldn't be uploading videos if I didn't have views on them even though most of these videos are made for me, I'm still not sure that I would continue to do this if I didn't have at least a couple of you who were watching. And uh, you were about 50 people-ish uh, that watch my videos on a day-to-day -day basis. And sometimes you're more, sometimes you're less, but mostly it's around 50. So I want to thank you so much, uh, all you people. It's strange to sit in a room with 50 people, you know, every day. But yeah, yeah, a thousand videos. That's a milestone. I thought I'd show you our Christmas tree because I don't think I ever really did. So this is our Christmas tree. This is a plastic Christmas tree. It's a huge one. Uh, when we got it, we were just considering the height and then when we put it in, we realized that it has a very big width. And for a fun notion, uh, we haven't, this is one of those trees where you kind of fold down things and puff, puff them out. Uh, in the back here, we haven't really folded things down just because we wanted to be able to push this tree deeper into the corner so you actually can get out to the door and then we got this for Christmas um, we do like a Christmas gift thingy uh, at my parents place and uh, it's one of those games sort of basically you take a gift with you uh, with a certain amount for a certain amount of money that would fit basically anyone and then um, everyone gets a package you draw a number you get a package and then you 
that's yours and you open it. If you have taken yours, you can change the packages before you open. So this is, um, that was one of the packages. The other one was actually a, um, like a cloth you put over you if you start burning. So that was a good thing. But it, it looks very cozy here, uh, underneath the tree and everything. And then you have my, I don't know how much I've showed you of these. I made this just before Christmas. So it's my little hard anger angles, angels. Um, I also have uh, some of these cross-stitched um, gingerbread cookies. I actually have a video of how I put them together um, on my old my old channel, but I think I have linked on my craft channel. Um, but yeah, we don't have that man many things on it right now. It's supposed to have more baubles. I do have the little um, pine cones. I got three of them in a package. So one is glittery, one is shiny, and one is matte, I think. Uh, but uh, I was... I was starting with the silver and white theme. I do have a couple of black glitter bubbles, but then I realized I wanted gold and red and we bought the bubbles, but we never put them up. So uh, it's a kind of a bare tree, but I kind of like it. I also have a, like a silver chain, it's just plastic. But uh, what I like about having a Christmas tree is that every year I add something new to it. So I kind of build it up. It might look a little bit plain now, but in 10 years it will be filled with things. I also promised to show you this and I hadn't. Kitty hair. Um, this is the um, pearl, pearl. Uh, it's a Mill Hill ornament with like if you do like this you see it's just filled with cross stitches and pearls it's made on this like paper paper piece and I just I just love these I will definitely be making more of these it was a lot of fun and you kind of finishing it off with like a these pearl a pearl necklace sort of thing and it's for your Christmas tree so yeah well guys I'm back I think it went well with the um, with the meeting. It was. We'll see how it pays pays out and plays out and everything. But I think it went well. Uh, however, when I went to more Scandinavia, I started feeling sick. Basically, you know, I've been talking about it. I have a cold, and I've had this cold for days now, and. It kind of is okay when you're home, you're still sniveling and you're tired, but as you're not doing a lot, I've been gaming so much, and gaming doesn't take that much energy, so I haven't really realized how sick I am, um, and it hasn't kind of, uh, usually when I get sick, I, I go, if I push myself, it kind of blows up and then it disappears more quickly. And it hasn't done that, it's just been sniffles and stuff. Uh, but on my way to the meeting, I'm starting feeling, well, basically this morning, I'm starting feeling super nauseous. Like, I didn't think I would keep my coffee down. Um, first I thought it was the cream in the coffee, that the cream was bad. So I threw the cream out and I made a new coffee that worked sort of. Um, and then I came to more Scandinavia because the, the meeting was um, just a block away from there. So I went in there. I usually try to get to the area where I'm supposed to be like half an hour to an hour before the meeting. Uh, because I hate being late. I hate coming late to a place. So I needed to find... Um, so basically I usually find a coffee shop and I sit down and when I've found the place and know where to go, I just sit down, take a cup of coffee at a coffee shop and wait so that I'm not, that I kind of ring the door somewhere from 10 to 5 minutes to ish. Uh, I try to never be earlier than 10 minutes to a meeting. Um, in respect to, he has a lot of other things to do and we have our meeting, so never 10 minutes, usually just 5 minutes. Uh, today I had like 1 minute to go or something, so I was 1 minute early uh, when I found the place. I thought it was at 1, I 
thought it was at one road and then I realized when working that it was a road um, it was on the other side basically and then I went in I went around the house I went in the proper door uh, but when I left I found out that you could go on that side I was from the beginning so I just went around the house for no reason at all well I got a lot of steps um, which was awesome but I, I did the meeting and everything and I started feeling more nauseous. I did get a sandwich in me. Um, one of those gluten-free salmon sandwiches that Starbucks have. By the way, they're going to have a new app. But I'm going to talk about that later. Um, so the meeting went pretty well. I met up with uh, a friend who recommended me for the job. Um, she brought me back to more Scandinavia. She had had other meetings though, so she couldn't... Um, we couldn't sit down and have a coffee. I miss her. I want to sit down and have a coffee with her soon. Um, but we we sat down uh, or we went, walked, talk a little bit and then I was just about to go to work and I'm like, I'm not feeling good. I'm not feeling good at all. Um, and I started feeling more and more nauseous and in the end I'm like, okay, I'm going to see here. I'm going to take a cup of coffee and see if this passes and see if I feel better um it didn't I'm feeling feverish I'm feeling really ill so I went home instead uh however I did stop by um a store on the way a paper craft store no a uh, bookstore actually on the way uh bookstores are dangerous for me because I have a serious serious addiction to anything that is pens and papers and stuff but what I got was um, this, which is self-adhesive book covering. It's, the, um, it's like glossy plastic uh, self-adhesive. Um, I've been watching a whole bunch of tutorials on how to do your own stickers. And uh, one of the ways that many actually, uh, many up and coming artists do uh, is that they have a good ink yet printer and then they print on label stickers but they are a little bit matte and the colors doesn't always pop so what you do then is you add some self adhesive some laminate of some sort uh, on top of it and then you use if you have a um, cutter I do have a cutter so you can use your cutter uh, cutting machine to cut around them either you cut by hand many do that too or you just cut around them uh, with your machine and do a kiss cut so you have the plastic of the um, label sheet still intact and then you have your images on top so I'm going to try doing that I've been wanting to 2017 was one of those years when I had so many things I wanted to do and it wasn't that many things I tried I did try a couple of them and I don't think I have shown you this. And I thought, hey, um, this might not ever come out, but I do want to show you. Um, yeah, a lot of things. Um, I'm gonna show you in a while. I'm just gonna show you what I bought first so that I don't over saturate you with things. So after I got this, I just went around in the store because I, I was thinking about, I did that glitter thing the glittered image and it was so fun and I want to do more of them so I got myself a kit of jelly roll pens it's not super non-expensive this is actually one of the more expensive because this is the jelly roll brand you can use any kind of glitter pens but this was the one that I found and also then I can actually link to the colors so for me um, it's not so much about, um, it's good quality of the jelly rolls, but it also is that when I make a video, um, it's better to have products that I can link to in respect to people who watch them. If people want to make my creations just as it is, you can use the ones to link to. So this is the metallic shine. Um, so it's a little bit glittery. And it has a lot of different colors. I do have some of the colors in my stash already, but now I have more of them. So yeah, 
And to finish it off, I found these two really gorgeous um, notebooks, which I don't really know what to use, but they were so cool. So they are um, have this glitter effect, and it's one butterfly. I don't really love butterflies that much, but that look kind of cool. And then it's a pink with a flamingo, and I love flamingos because they're kind of cool. So yeah, those were the two my my shopping that I did today. So let's get into that. Uh, I want to show you everything that I've done the last year because I didn't show you during the last year. So uh, last year I was thinking that I wanted to do a pattern, my own cross stitch uh, beading or something pattern uh, that I wanted to be able to sell together with my dyed fabric. Now, um, this isn't written in stone, but I might be closing down my store. I have a lot of fabric, so I want to color it up um, for customers and then sell it off so that I'm not sitting here with a lot of fabric. But and I won't stop selling needles, you will still get the needles. But it is a very physical job to do dyeing. And to be honest, my body doesn't handle it very well. Um, sitting and sewing the edges is a killer on my back. I can't do it for a long time um, that much. Um, carrying water and doing all the dyeing it takes both time, energy, and the pain is quite substantial. Um, so in the long run, um, being a dyer isn't something I will be able to do. I probably will continue to dye now and then. I have a lot of uh, dyes to do it, but I won't be able to do it as a profession. So yeah, sad news. However, I wanted to share with you uh, the little project that I did. And that is this one. So, yeah, we, we're going to show it on the, on the table so you can see it better. So this is Autumn Harvest. Uh, this was supposed to be one in several designs that is designed to fit in this IKEA frame. I wanted to have a one of the things that is super expensive when you do cross stitch is to frame your pieces and most of the designs aren't made for default sizes of frames and I thought IKEA frames are the same size wherever you are in the world so you can get these um, you can get these wherever you are in the world and you will get the same size. This is one of their standard frames, so it's not um, probably not going to go out of print soon, stuff like that. So I thought it would be fun to make a pattern for that. And I thought about making a um, seasonal uh, kind of chain of patterns. However, a few things. I'm one person, so this takes time. It took a lot of time. I had an idea, I redid the idea several times, sitting in and adding the patterns and everything. Uh, I have even more, I, I had a lot of respect for designs before, but I do have a lot more, um, a lot more respect for designers now. But um, I'm not sure that this will, might not see the uh, time of day. It is stitched on uh, my glittered linen uh, in kind of mustard buttercup mustard I think I called it uh, with DMC. It's three different colors of DMC and uh, then you have the pearls which is these um, butter butter colored um, I think it's like corn maybe it's called um, from Mill Hill. So that's basically how it's done. So my question, is this something you want me to publish? Do you want 
to see this pattern out in the world. I'm not sure that I will ever be making more patterns like this. I might, but I kind of want to concentrate on my paper craft this year. I'm going to continue doing cross stitch and I'm going to continue sharing my cross stitch with you. Uh, but if you are looking at a more business side, I am going to concentrate more on the paper crafting and the card tutorials because I found that I put it to the side and concentrated on things like that and I kind of lost something and I want to get that back. So yeah, a lot of questions, a lot of things. But yeah, now I've shared that with you. I am going to sit down and continue doing noses because that was what I did while waiting for um, waiting for the meeting. I, I just found a way to make noses on YouTube. So I'm gonna try like one or two of those. Um, I want to do different kinds of noses. I don't want to have the same nose for everything. And this is why I want to practice doing noses. Um, it's kind of fun practicing a special thing. So yeah, and I'm feeling really sick. So I'm probably going to go and lay down also, but yeah. yeah. So guys, it's time for me to head to bed. But before that, I thought I'd tell you a little bit about the rest of my day. Um, I've had a really, really good day. I don't know if I told you, but I was contacted by another person about a possible job opportunity. So I got another one to kind of add to the books, uh, which, which will make, for everyone I get, it makes it easier. It makes me feel more stable because it makes, it's a bigger chance that I actually get a job at the end of it. Also, fun thing, um, I was kind of just going through my email and there's often a lot of emails that you like, I have email boxes for different things. And sometimes I don't read them at all, I just notice that they're there, kind of remove, remove them as a read and then continue on because I do get a lot of email and I can't read through everyone. However, today I entered one and it was this big notice that basically said um, they were looking for paper crafters. They were looking for, for a magazine to be a contributor to a magazine. Um, and it, it's like, it's both, uh, they were both looking at uh, like full-time employee at their office, but also as freelance contributors. And like, I really would like to do that. It would be awesome. It would be so much fun. And I never, um, I've contributed once, like professionally to a magazine. Um, I have... When I started paper crafting, I did a lot of like sending into the magazines and stuff like that. And I had one or two cards published in the letter section, um, but haven't really worked with a magazine except for when I was um, working with paper, paper nest dolls. And I did did a card for for her, uh, which I sent in to the magazine. Um, but this would be a paid gig, sort of, which would be like super cool. Um, so yeah, I sent in my my kind of this is me, this is what I do. I I did a very small one. Uh, I've been less talkative in mails like that. I'm trying not to um, talk too much about myself and then just like, hey, this is me, 
this is what I do, here you have some examples, and then if they want to know more about me as a person, um, they can ask afterwards, and I think that will, that will help give a more professional look, I don't know, it's just, it's how it is. Um, a new thing also that I did, which I was thinking about all day, and I've been thinking about it for months, I finally, uh, bit the bullet and added a new Instagram account for Craft a Bit Illustrates. So I've been wanting to have it for a longer period of time. I do a lot of illustrations that I share in the main account and I want to kind of streamline my accounts a little bit. I might be doing one separate for my cross stitching, but we'll see. It, it might actually be that I'm phasing out the cross stitching into a new account also and then just keeping Crafted Bit Creations for the cards only. Um, we'll see, bit by bit it will it will kind of get in order. So um, I'm doing my challenge, I think I talked about this this a little bit earlier today, I'm going to do a challenge, I'm going to do 10 sketches um, per day for 10 days in a row, every day have one single um, kind of what I'm doing and I'm doing small ones. It's not huge ones, it's small ones so that I have the energy, I have the time, I can do everything. So I'm going to show you day one and this is it. I'm going to turn around, turn around every now and then. Sorry. Um, so these are the noses that I've been working with. So that the subject of today has been noses. Supposed to do 10, but these are like 15, I think. Uh, but I really wanted to get some more practice in, so I did. I'm hopefully going to do them um, like one sheet at a time, like a full page. Uh, I did do a couple of sketches yesterday that I haven't shared. I practiced some mouths and some noses and then I did one face which is a little bit wobbly and I had a reference and she doesn't fully look like the reference. Um, I think some of the parts, because I did her first and then I did these like practicing thingy that was what spawned this or i've been thinking about the idea for a long time i've been obsessed with noses for a long time so yeah that's basically that's basically how it is um but yeah it's nine o'clock so i'm gonna head to bed um to get some thorough sleep and hopefully i'll be feeling good enough to go to work tomorrow but we'll see so um good night sleep tight don't let the bed bugs bite. Bye!